Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. This is the continuation of our RSCSA practice exam series and we are at question number 18 and this one is related to swap space. So we will be performing the task on node 02 as RSCSA 9 user. So in this one they are asking us to add the additional swap partition 1 GB to your system. Those swap partitions should automatically mount when the system boots and so we have to make that swap partition persistent. Do not remove or otherwise alter any existing swap partition on your system. So without modifying any existing one, we will be creating a new one. So uh, in this one, we are assuming that it is SDB1, but in any case, we will go and check. But before, before we begin, uh, there are certain checks we have to do. We will just first go and check what swap is available. Okay, the size is 2.5 GB. It's not being used, but total size for the swap is 2.5 GB currently. We can check it using free hyphen H as well. This is our physical memory and this is our swap space, which is 2.5 GB. Right and it's not being used. This is another command you can use to check swap space. This is your physical memory. This is your swap space. Alright, so let's go and check what are the disks that is available to us in the system. So if you see, uh, I'm sure you're aware of this LSBLK command. If not, read about it. So this is, we have three disks available. And SDB1 is 1 GB, SDBC, SDB is 1 GB, SDC is 2 GB, and SDD is 2 GB. Alright, so they are asking us to add 1 GB, so this is the candidate partition. This is the candidate disk that we can use. So, let's go ahead and make the partition using that disk. You will write new partition. Default partition number, starting size same, and size is also the default. And then this one, we will check this one. If you want to know the codes, type L to show you. It will show you the code, but I know it is. I'm creating LVM, so 8E00. I'm writing it and say yes. All right, so just type sudo part prop and then lsblk we have created the partition now next is we will be creating this swap all right so this is how you do it mk swap and sdp so it is done then we have to switch it on we will switch it on and that's it swap if you type free free my touch it was 2.5 gb now it is 3.5 but if you reboot right now it will go away and it will show you 2.5 gb again because we did not make the changes in fs tab so for that for it to be persistent on reboot, we have to add it in the have to use sudo fs tab. I come here, I add the entry here, but just to make it more neat, make sure it is aligned with all the other settings will make it look like this that's it and whenever you make changes to fs tab just type mount minus a it should not throw any error so you don't need to reboot this will confirm that your changes are correct so top command is also showing 3.5 gb free dash h is also showing and even after reboot, the system will also show us. 
So this is the previous one. This is the one we added. This is the reference document. If you like to read more about it, managing storage devices. So I will highly recommend that if you don't know about how the partition and disk and storage management work in. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.